So we are here at ETS round number three of season 17 at the beautiful facility of the LMCC Luxembourg. And Lucas, what is the name of the track exactly? The Mini Circuit Ville de Luxembourg in French. Okay, that was too complicated for <laughs> me. So as you can see, guys, I'm joined here by Automatics factory driver Lucas Aubain. He's from France. And uh, yeah, Lucas, we did uh, a track walk, I think, two years ago, where you explained um, the most important sections of the track. Um, what has changed since then? Because I think the club has done some work on the track. Yeah, I mean, the track is pretty much the same, while well, the layout is exactly the same. Um, I think we can see on the surface, they used a big machine to sand and scratch the surface to remove all the old rubber in an attempt to make the, the surface a bit more rough for the large scale cars. Okay. For them, it seems a bit better, but for us, it's a bit more rough and we have, as a result, we have more tire wear. I mean, you can see the all the marks on the track. Yeah, you can the, see The lines too. of where, yeah, the machine pass through and um, they did a big effort to really clean the surface for us so that we have good grip and also they had a couple um, uh, large-scale racing events so you can see that the line is fairly black I mean we cannot really see due to the the wet patches but the line is really really black and it makes the surface like good grip for us but also very reactive to um, to weather and um, to the heat of the Sun or all the cold in the evening so the, the, the track changes a lot they also repainted the curbs in um, Luxembourgish colors, which I think is really, really nice. Gives a good signature to the track. Yeah, it, 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 it looks really amazing. I mean, yes, it now, does. Now we are entering, I think, one of the most famous and spectacular sections in the world of RC. Yes. And you can see actually the surface is aging a little bit, some, uh, some more cracks compared to the last time we visited. And uh, it, it, yeah, it's a bit more bumpy than it used to be. And actually, you can see the elevation changes on the track. It's, it's pretty amazing. So this corner hasn't changed much. It's pretty much the same as uh, two years ago. No more new bumps here. Just uh, the, the fresh white lines make it like very stick out. It's very nice from the restroom. You can really see it. Even like yesterday, we drove really, really late, but you can still see the, the white lines and the curves. It's very, very nice. So up the hill, it's really, you, yes. need, to, you need to use the muscles. Exactly, to yeah, come yeah, up yeah. the hill. And uh, reminds me that I need to exercise more. <laughs> What is the, the elevation here, the difference from the Actually, straight to this? Actually, I don't know. I've heard it's meters, about two or? meters, yes. About two meters, and this is by far the steepest part of the track. Yeah, Matt, our cameraman, he needs to not trip out. You can see uh, another crack um, forming at the track. It's probably also pretty new, but this one you, you don't really feel. It's pretty big when you loop from up close, but when you drive here, you don't feel it. And one curb that it looks a bit um, nasty and big, but actually yeah, it looks you rough. Yeah. yeah, but actually you can, surprisingly, you can use it. I don't know if it's because of the elevation change, the car gets unloaded and you can really use the curb. But it's really key to really accelerate as straight as possible towards the, the straightaway. Yeah, then uh, we're coming onto the straightaway. Um, it's a left turn, you can maybe be close to the curb. Yeah, you need to, to be really close, but I mean, the slower class, they can really use it and shortcut the track. In modified, you can actually spin out into the straight, which is actually a scary thing when it happens because you so will do a 360, catch some air and backflip. So when your left side tires are on the, on the paint? On the white line, that's yeah. perfect. And on top of it, from the rostrum, you can't really see it. You can guess where the curb is, but with the grass and the elevation change, you cannot really see the inside. So it's just all about guessing. So you drive by feeling and by knowledge of the track? Yeah, exactly. How long is the straight? Do you know it? I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I think it's about 60 meters. Okay, because slightly uphill. It doesn't look so long, but it's when when you walk it, it's it's bigger than expected. Yes, it's longer it than is. Expected. And um, the fact that you start the straight line with uh, already some speed, and you actually don't have to brake for the sweeper, so you keep accelerating all the way. Yeah, I mean this is a nice banked corner here. Yes, it is. I mean it's it's way more challenging than it looks, especially in modified, because you have a bump in the entry. Here, this you can, one. Yeah. yeah, you can use the curb slightly on the entry with no no big issue but then um, when the the corner tightens um, well there is a new bump here this is pretty new this crack so they installed it or <laughs> <laughs> yeah probably <laughs> it's the construction in the area they're doing so much work that all the shaking and vibration is, is ah, okay. going through the yeah. track and every year Understand. we have more cracks okay and this bump can actually really unsettle the car for the rest of the corner and it's really hard to guess because sometimes it will make the car understeer more some cars will get the snap of a steer and it's really hard to guess really what's going to happen through the corner if you have to adjust the steering lock and uh, throttle inputs. 
Okay, now we are coming here into the to the more technical part of the track yes. with the, the infield section. Is it, uh, from your perspective, is it more a setup track or a driver track? Uh, what can gain you more speed? The, the, no, the pure driving? I think or? it's all about confidence. Yeah. You need to be able to push because the, um, the feeling of the, the asphalt doesn't really give you good feedback. The car is always a bit floating. Okay. So it always seems like you're on the limit of losing the car. Okay. But and Which the is corners keep feeling. And, yeah no, <laughs> and the corners they keep coming at you really fast. It's all about rhythm sections. Okay. So every corner, um, yeah, every section you have to to think ahead. Like uh, if you miss one corner, you will miss the next five. So and you definitely have to know how much you can drive over the the paint or the curb because this yeah. is super flat here. Yeah, exactly, and also because the, the curbs actually the, they are part of the um, the, the the asphalt. It's not yeah. an added piece. It's not. Yes. It's not concrete. Okay. It's part of the asphalt, so okay. the, you can see really the, there is no joint. Yes. It's really like a smooth curve. So, driving you don't really feel when you are on the curb and when and when you're not. So you just can see it by the color and. Yes, and uh, the white paint is actually quite slippery in places, so it will change the behavior of the car. Okay. And I think here is the main area where you can see how the asphalt is really really rough, like this area, like when you drive a 10 yeah. scale, it feels like potholes. Yes, you can actually okay. hear them when you drive alone. Okay. It almost sounds like you have a broken bearing or a broken draft shaft in the car, but it's just, yeah, you're driving over potholes. How many much. How many good runs can you do with the current set of modified tires? Is it one, maybe two? Uh, you can do two here. And okay. um, when it's not too hot, you can do three, four, five maybe, but then you down to the canvas. The tire wear is so much. Okay. But it has to be said that um, the tires, we understand them more and more with yeah. modified. Yeah. And we figure that we can drive them so hard. Yes. If we really drive 110%. The power settings in the car are crazy. And um, yeah, it's all about the fact that we drive them so hard, we have so much tire wear. Okay, now we have kind of a very easy looking right turn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> this corner, you can't really make up so much time. It's just about yeah. just drive the corner, position the car for the exit. Because it's tempting to use the curb, but I found out you never really go faster when driving on the curb here. Yeah. Just make sure you position on the inside to really straighten as much as you can the, the uphill chicane. And in I my view, this is one of the hardest part of the track in Modified. Yes, because it's yes. nearly flat, but it isn't. Yeah. Yeah, I watched, I watched the cars yesterday from the sideline when, when the top heat of Modified was practicing. And especially, it was easy to see that you have a lot of confidence in this yes. section. You looked really, really fast. Yes, I think if you have really good acceleration out of the sort of Omega teardrop corner, you can really straighten the chicane and just a slight lift for the right hander. Yeah. And the risk always is to hit, especially the first curb, a bit too much because then you will backflip. Okay. In the past, this curb was a lot nastier. <laughs> I once ended up in the cafeteria. The gate was open in my car when <laughs> flying away straight through from, the cafeteria. From here? Yeah, yeah, from here, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I, I, I came down the, the, the restroom and I couldn't find my car. I could hear it, yes. couldn't find my car. Yeah. And it was somewhere behind a, a pole in, uh, in the cafeteria. After this uh, very fast chicane, I mean, when you, when you nail the chicane, you, you approach this uh, hairpin super fast yep. is it a point where you have to break full yeah or? it's the hardest breaking point of the track it's yes. really really hard because you're actually flat out coming out of the right hander so what you got to do is position the car and, and break as straight as possible to the hairpin it's pretty much full break and um, okay. I mean there's not a lot of time to gain here but it's easy to lose time if you overshoot and yes. it's also the, the best overtaking spot because yeah. you can really send it on the inside. Okay. And then yeah, your mission is just square the corner as hard as you can, rotate the car and and the ideally you want to hug the, the pit wall <laughs> yeah. to have the best line possible, but it's usually a bit dusty on the outside so yes. the car will get a bit squirrely. But uh, position the car as far right as possible to have the better line to enter the, the first Laguna Seca. So the, the last question about the driving on the track, when you then pass the driver stand, how difficult is it to, to get a perfect entry in this kind of downslope for the Laguna Seca? Because it, when, you, when you watch driving the pros, it, is, it always looks easy because everybody nails it in every lap, but I can only imagine how many laps you need to have that feeling for lifting, coasting, braking, how hard you can go in. Yeah, it's, it's one of the key areas and I think you can really see the locals from the non-locals watching the, the drivers well, drive. Like the locals, we will hug the, 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 the pit wall way more than other drivers. And also 
you need to sort of underdrive the entry of the first Laguna Seca because if you fully send it, you're going to push wide. So the trick is to, yeah, take it easy on the entry and, and yes. carry the speed to, okay. to carry the speed on the, on the exit of the corner and do the lap time that way. Okay. You can see, well, I had a few instances with people behind me and they gained three, four meters on the braking and I'm 10 meters ahead after the chicane. Yeah. Yes. So it's all about rhythm. Yes, this track all about rhythm. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that was our little track walk here at the Mini Circuit Ville de Luxembourg. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Um, we are waiting for the track to, to dry out because we had a lot of rain uh, during the night. Um, maybe one hour more and it will be completely dry, hopefully. Then we will have some practice and for sure one round of qualifying today. What do you expect from the race when we look on the modified class? I mean, you had been the fastest yesterday in practice. Yeah, I mean, um I go for the win. Uh, that's my expectation right now. I just, I just want to win. I mean, second would not be enough. Okay. So, Lucas, best of luck for the weekend. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for all the informations about the track. And yeah, we hope that you enjoyed the track walk uh, with the little insights here of this amazing track. Please follow our live stream on RC Racing TV, on our Facebook page, and also on the website ets.racing here at the third round of season 17 of the Euro Touring Series.